Hey Shalom, Akim. This is Yahba Tazak coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahba Shemi Awashai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. Risking your life for the hopeful elect. Yahweh Shemi Awashai. Waha Rukak Wadash Barakatam Akim. Alright. Um, this is going to be a quick kick and just de dealing with milk. You know, just going into the word prophecy. And I'm going to bring out the meaning in, in a couple of scriptures. And, uh, and the scriptures uh, proving um, what we ought to do, you know, having this uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So right here, you know, I just typed in prophecy, uh, meaning, or mean, dictionary, you know, I picked it up, prophet, noun, it says prophet, plural noun, prophets, plural noun, prophets, etc. Uh, number one, it says a person regarded as inspired teacher or proclaimer of the will of the Most High. All right, so that's what a prophet is, man. A prophet is a man of the Lord that's chosen, that's that's preordained from the foundations of the earth, which is the 144,000 are those men, okay? And uh, it says the uh, synonyms is a seer or a soothsayer, a fortune teller, a clairvoyant, um, a diviner, more oracle, sibyl, you know, so it just gives different uh, uh, synonymous uh, words that are equivalent to the word prophet, okay? And uh, basically, um, you know, you got your word prophecy or prophesy, and they go into that same, they fall into that same category as well as the definition, which I'm about to pull out here. Um, you go down, and it goes into the origin, you know, Greek, and it breaks down the, it breaks down the word for you speak pro is before fit fitis is, is a speaker and then you go down to the middle english uh from old french prophet via latin from greek prophetes spokesman from pro before plus fetis speaker so it's uh um to say before basically all right so a prophet is endowed with what the wisdom knowledge and understanding the hidden mystery that's been hidden from the foundations of the earth so therefore he relays the message to the people he teaches the people all right um so i just want to bring that out and i want to bring out some scriptures all right this is in the book of revelations chapter 19 verse 10 and i fell at his feet to worship him and he said unto me see thou do it not i am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So this whole book, the whole scrolls, the, all the scrolls, the parchments, all right, the Bible, including the Apocrypha, is the spirit of prophecy, man. All right, so if you're reading out of this book and you're showing uh, information to certain individuals out of this book, at that moment, you're teaching that individual the spirit of prophecy, okay? You're letting them know the testimony of Yahweh Shai. And the only ones that are going to be able to do that are those that are preordained from the foundations of the earth. That have this wisdom, the knowledge, and understanding. The spirit of Yahweh Shai. Alright, and they're going to speak from this word. Because in Isaiah 8 and 20, what does it say? Let me go there real quick. Isaiah 8 and 20. Alright. It says, To the law and to the testimony... If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, right? And we know that when you break down that word testimony, it goes back to where uh, having um, uh, 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 testes. Only a man can uh, give the testimony of Yahweh Shah, okay? Only a man can go onto the highways and the byways and give the testimony, okay? So when you break down that word, the prefix of that word testimony goes back to the word testes, which only a man can have the word uh, testicles, okay? So it says to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word. See, if you don't speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in you. What does that light represent? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That is basically Yahweh Shai, the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Okay? So if you don't speak not according to this word, you're not fulfilling the whole duty of man, which is in uh, Ecclesiastes 12, which it says, uh, roughly paraphrasing, it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh, 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 fear the Most High and obey His commandments. Okay? So it says, uh, 
So to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. All right, so let's go back to Revelations 19 and 10. It says, um, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren that had the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy. All right. So when you, when you hear this word, you have no other choice but to, to speak it. Right. So let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Let's see. Salakia, 2 Corinthians 4 and 13. It says, we have we have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Okay. So you're 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 speaking the words of the Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. You're prophesying. You're speaking the words of prophecy. Okay. So we have in the same spirit of faith, right? Because we all have the one one speech, one 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 mouth, one uh, uh, our eyes are single. We see eye to eye. All right. We're of one body, one spirit, one baptism, one doctrine. Right. One savior, one redeemer. Okay. So we have the same spirit of faith, man. You know, we have, we don't have the faith of, of the Christian doctrine. You know, of these Muslims or these these uh Buddhists, these uh, uh pro Protestants, these non-denominational, these all these different denominations that they have out here in the, in the, in the world, where the church is, is segregated, they're d divided amongst each other. We have the same spirit of faith. All right, and, and we believe here at Great Millstone, when you you, you fall into this truth. You're ordered to, to uh, not only through men, but but, but, but through Yahweh Shai, that you are to study and to learn this thing and to go on to the highways and the byways and bid those into his feast, the supper. All right. So I'm going to read this again. First Corinthians 4 and 13. We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. And we also believe and therefore speak. And we are the example. Us men that are on the highways and the byways are examples to you rest of you uh individuals out there in the world whether you've come into the fold or not or whether you're in the fold uh, but you just haven't yet uh gird up thy loins and, and stepped out into the highways and the byways now's the time to do it man count the cost don't put it off from day to day because y'all watch me i was gonna ask you what did you do at that time you know 